Monkey? Yes. Are you ready? Nearly. Get your hand in. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, hop. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hidden Grove. All right, there we go. No going back in there. No going back in there. We've been together 12, 12 long years. 12 years, yeah. She's been doing that little movement in my face. Yeah, God, that's amazing. He was in the flat that I was sharing with this other actor. I didn't really know the monkey belonged to anyone. I thought it was the one in the flat, and so I just... Uh, yeah, I just took him. What do you do? Um, I'm a housewife and mother. You're a housewife and mother. Yeah, oh, that's great. Congratulations. Nina should be good. She seeks limelight. I was learning ventriloquism with a mannequin that um, I wasn't enjoying much because it was freaky, you know. They always are stuff of the horror films. And so I just thought that was not going to last forever. But as soon as something, you know, that can fit in a handbag could talk to me, and the voice fit my face, didn't it? Very quickly. Well, I'm going to have to go now because Nina's new shit characters are coming out. They're not <laughs> shit. All right. We'll see you at the end, won't we? Yes, I'm going to come back if you're lucky. I'll review the show. Nina's sort of my daughter, but you call her Nina because you had no imagination. No, she's me as a kid. Hello. Um, this is the Guardian. What are you doing? Why are they here now? I'm not ready. It's like a, an eight-year-old being driven by a 38-year-old and like a toy car and a grown-up no toy. <laughs> I can't sleep at night because I'm so worried about your mortgage. <laughs> she actually seems kind of more wise than I do. In fact, all of them a little bit because I'm forcing my thoughts outside of my the refines of my own personality. I get more objective thought when I try and imagine through a character what a character would think. Well, that, that's John. Can you want to open your eyes, say hello to them? No, I'll consider it seen if you don't mind. You make me talk. Yes. And if I talk slowly, it gives you time to think. Yes. <laughs> and if you need to think things through, I'll fall asleep. She's, she's been in the first ten shows and I deemed her not worthy, as if it was her fault. Uh, hello, that's lovely. I saw a ventriloquist on that who could do an echo. I really could do an echo. Can you do an echo? I don't know. Let's try. Imagine I'm walking home at night on the street and I shout out, Hello! 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 No, that needs work now. <laughs> Well, with this accent, you deserve it. She's filthy, look at that. Filthy. You need a wash. You need a sponge. I know, if your nose. Oh, I was in Australia just before I came here. I thought that was pretty tacky. That was good to keep my dog in. This is my dog, who's a pit bull. So do you want to start by telling everyone your name? Yes, it's killer. She won you in a raffle. It's true, I did actually win him in a raffle. So the ones that I spent ages designing, you know, that I think are wonderful, you know, you can win one in a raffle and it turns out to be so much better. Well, I'm a reformed character, you know, it's taken me a while to clear high of my wrong beginnings, but I'm really a darling now. And, um, yeah, he was quite, uh, quite rough in the old days, yeah. Tell us, where are you from Poland? Somewhere like that. OK. <laughs> Don't make it difficult for yourself. <laughs> and you can be in Sydney Opera House one week and then I'm here in the, cr in the student crud. But, um... Yeah, that's the fringe.